the season is coming to an end and the new one is right around the corner but as of bringing a new build to the channel hey man we are bringing the two-way tempo pusher to the channel for y'all boys hey when i end up showing y'all boys builds when a new season come out i'm gonna tell y'all this now i'm gonna end up giving you different variations of this build but this build right here particularly were in my notes for a total of seven months i had this build in my notes in september 23rd 2021 but as me checking those notes, I had to remember in 2K20, I had this build plus having the two-way slashing playmaker. And I always thought which one was the better one. Of course, the two-way slashing playmaker became the one. But as of having a rare name and having a different type of build with everybody else, saying two-way slashing playmaker, bro, this build was just actually so fun to play on. Having a 65 three-pointer, shooting greens, ice on, breaking ankles, getting contact dunks, and being able to play defense was just a demigod on that game. But as of hey on 2K22, I end up switching it up to my type of version. But I'm going to end up showing you the same way you can make it from 2K20. But before we even get into it, make sure you boys drop a like, subscribe, put on those notifications if you haven't yet. Hey, man, we might hop into my player builder and really get to it. But as of the builds, we're going to end up showing you with the pie charts. But I need you to listen closely, real close. You're going to maybe ask me this because I don't show this screen any more times in this video. But for every pie chart that you see in this video, I will be using the position of shooting guard. Yes, shooting guard, I am not touching point guard. Every pie chart that you're seeing, every build I end up making with this video will be a shooting guard. But with this build on its own, it has a total of seven different pie charts that you can use to get the name. But I'm gonna be showing you four of the best ones to use. As of the first one, it's the more blue, less green pie chart. I told y'all, this is one of the best catfish pie charts you can use. As of the next one, you got the half and half blue and yellow pie chart. Then the next one is the more green, less blue pie chart as being the second best catfish build pie chart to use on NBA 2K22. And then the OG pie chart, half and half red yellow pie chart. And this is the pie chart we're about to start on. But as of the physicals, we're going to end up choosing the pure speed pie chart. If you are someone that's going to end up making this build a little bit smaller, you can go with the speed vertical and that's the fourth pie chart. But if you're someone that's going to make this build six foot four, six foot five, six six, I do prefer you go with pure speed. But as of us making this build, man, as of being the original way to make this build from 2K20, you'll be able to get contact dunks. You will be able to have a decent three-pointer of having around like a 68 three-pointer. Plus, you will have a high ball control to be able to cook up, get elite dribble moves if you want to based on what height you go with. Plus, you will have that Hall of Fame defensive badges and those stats to go crazy on this build. But a key thing when it comes to these builds, as of getting the name, two-way tempo pusher you will have to have your pass accuracy at 77 what other pie charts it's going to be different variations of actually having a certain stat that you cannot go over because if you go over 77 pass seconds you're going to get two-way playmaker or two-way slasher but hey as we got the patch count of 8 9 18 and 18 this definitely enough to get the job done if you're sitting corner or even isolating like it does the job both ways. If you're someone that's gonna sit corner, you got enough badges to still bust a move out the corner if you got to. And you're someone that's ISO and you can still get a bucket with all these badges that you have, plus the stats they're given. But as of the height, you can go 6'5, six, 6'6. Six, six, and if you want somebody to get elite dribble moves, you can go with the 6'4 or even the 6'3. As of being the 6'3, six, 6'4, six, I would prefer that just because you still get the lead dribble. You will unlock every dribble move in the game. Plus, you won't be that small and you still be able to play defense. But as you see, I have a 95 speed and I still have a 94 if I end up going with the 6'4. But as me raising my weight, and it's a reason why I'm raising my weight. As you pay attention, look at my strength on this build. As you might be saying, you got a 91 acceleration, a 92 speed. At 99 overall, I will still have a 99 acceleration and a 99 speed. As long as I don't go to 90, I will still have that 99 in both of those categories. But if you're like someone that doesn't care for having that strength, you're just doing it for the ISO wise, hey, just go lowest weight if you want to. But I'm telling you, if you raise your weight up to maybe like 219 pounds on the 6'4 and maybe 220 on the 6'3, you will get a 62 strength. And once you max out your wingspan, your strength will go down. But still, you have plus eight left when you end up getting this built to 99. And you still do your workouts to get that plus four on strength or just have gym rat in general. So you will still be in that 67 range of this build. But hey, if you're someone that's not going to end up grinding this build to 99, hey, that's cool with you. But all you got to do is end up making the build to the weight preference you prefer so if you're someone that's not going to grind this build out in the long run hey you still will be able to play on this build right now and get buckets and would have a 95 speed if you want to but as of the takeovers hey man we got lock slashing playmaker and shot creator y'all know how i feel about play take play take is a no-go 
no go unless you're someone that's really a passing type of dude or you're someone that's going to end up getting play take it takes too long to get play take so i would prefer lockdown take if you're going to play lockdown or you're going to use slash and take if you really about to be ice on on this build or shot creating it's up to you but as you get the name two-way tempo pusher for the red yellow pie chart and let's jump into the next pie chart as of my favorite pie chart on the game the more blue than green pie chart hey y'all know about this pie chart right here you can make so many great builds with this pie chart you can make the slash and playmaker the offensive threat the facilitating finisher you can end up making a two-way slash and playmaker you can make so many builds you can even make a shot creator build out this pie chart but usually when I end up using this pie chart, I do pick the speed physicals just because it's going to be somewhat slower than when you end up having Hall of Fame playmaking. But hey, as you're doing this, I did not put close shot on this build because if you mess around with the close shot, you won't get the name two-way tempo pusher. But at that point, you might as well end up trying a whole different name if you don't really care to get the name two-way tempo pusher to have a 91 post hook. But look, as you got 16 finishing badges, you're going to end up getting 17 shooting. Bro, already, this is looking like my slash and playmaker build the catfish slash and playmaker build especially this is the same pie chart we still end up having to make our pass accuracy 77 pass accuracy you must see a training when it comes to making these catfish builds or getting the different names in builds but as with the defensive radius you definitely can get the job done with the defensive radius you do get a high steal on this build since you're going to make the wingspan max wingspan so as you got 16 17 14 and 6 hey i'm telling you this might be the one as you see in the beginning of the video this is the one that i end up preferring to choose if you're someone that wants more defense that's up to you but it's so many different ways you can make this build as of this build in this pie chart i would prefer you to make this build small like hands down if you can make this build small to get all the speed and acceleration you can six foot if you're that type of player do it but if you're someone that wants a more taller build I will go with the 6364 at the tallest. 65 is cool if you want to, but as of not having Hall of Fame playmaking, hey, it's a trade-off. Be 65 with gold playmaking or be 65 with Hall of Fame, but you have better stats of having gold playmaking on your build. And one of the reasons I was telling you to make this build under 65 is just because you'll be able to get the small contact dunks and the pro contact dunks. And if you put slash and takeover on this build, you will be able to get elite contact dunks and take over. With you having the options with slashing, shot creator, playmaking, and lock take, hey, I will focus on these main two things, slashing and shot creator, based on what type of player you are. But if you want them elite contact dunks, pick slash and take over. But look, as we got two-way tempo pusher again with the more blue, less green pie chart, now we're gonna end up jumping over to the pie chart that's this little brother. You're gonna go to the more green, less blue pie chart, hey. It's literally the reverse of what we just did. Now we have the more shooting ability than the dunking ability. Even though you will still be able to get contact dunks with this build, if you put slash and takeover on it, hey, this is very similar to my two-way playmaker catfish build. So if you didn't see that video, you might want to go check that out. They was going crazy with that build. Hey, slash and takeover on that type of build is crazy. To have a high three-pointer and be confused of what this build is, I'm telling you, this might be one of those builds that you might enjoy, just like the two-way slash and playmaker. But as of making this build with this pie chart, you cannot go with your close shot higher than 90. You go past 90, it's going to end up changing everything, even if you got your pass accuracy at 77. But as you have an 11, 22, and you mess with the playmaking, you're going to get a good amount, and you keep the pass accuracy around 77, you're going to end up still getting 14 playmaking badges on this build. But if you're someone that wants that 15 playmaking badge, you will have to sacrifice one defensive badge to end up getting that. Unless you're going to sacrifice a finishing badge for that, hey, it's up to you. As you have 22 Hall of Fame shooting badges. But as of having 11, 22, 14, and 6, out of this win and the last one you just seen, you definitely got two good options to choose from. But if you're someone that's going to pick the more green, less blue pie chart, just know you're going to be way slower than having that more blue, less green. Because even though I make this build 6, two just like my catfish two-way playmaker you're gonna end up still having that 88 but once you lower the weight you will have a 90 speed and then the acceleration will be kind of iffy that's the only problem with this build the acceleration is kind of iffy you gotta remember you still have gold playmaking so if you even go 6 2 you're gonna have a 98 speed and like a 95 maybe 94 acceleration on this build and once you get the build to 99 with your plus four from acrobat or even doing your workouts but as you end up maxing out this wing spin on this build hey maxing out those wing spin on this build remember you get an 84 three-pointer at 99 and you will end up having an 80 drop and dunk get them straight arm tomahawks with having elite dribble moves with this build but if you want them contacts like i told you you gotta put that slash and take on it you, you seen i had an 80 driving dunk on that two-way playmaker build if you didn't see that video you might want to go check it out got a contact dunk and slash and takeover hey it was crazy 
But as you end up choosing, you can pick Sharp, Slash, and Shot Critter. It's all on you. But hey, I do prefer you. I would mess with Slash and Take to get contacts with this build. But if you're someone that's going to be shooting more, pick Sharp Takeover. But as of the next pie chart of the half and half blue, yellow, the OG Slash and Playmaker pie chart, a lot of you guys might have this build as this pie chart. As you see this, I'm going to tell you this now. If you're going to make this build taller like the first build, like I told you, you're gonna go with the actual pure speed pie chart. But if you're someone that's gonna make this build shorter, you're gonna go with the speed burp pie chart, the fourth pie chart. But like those other pie charts that I showed you earlier, the catfish ones, the more blue, less green, and the more green, less blue, those pie charts, one of them get contact dunks off rip, but the other one would not be able to get contacts in general unless you have a certain takeover. But look, as of this one is similar to the first pie chart, the half red, half yellow pie chart. You'll be able to get contact dunks on this build with a low three point also with a high ball control and you will be able to play some type of decent defense with this one but as of having a somewhat close rating of perimeter defense and lateral quickness as of the catfish builds I showed you it does have a trade-off with having a 91 speed and a 90 acceleration but that's at 65 if you're someone that's gonna go 65 I do prefer you to lower the weight on this build because you need most speed you can get even though you got Hall of Fame playmaking it's up to you if you don't care about the weight on this build I would prefer you to at least go up a little more just for you to get a little bit strength on this build if you want to be able to get bumpy if you want to but as of other heights you could go with the 6-3 6-3 if you don't care about the weight hey lowest weight 6-4 same thing about that it's just based on if you want elite dribble moves or you don't care about having elite dribble moves at 6-5 and you usually want to go with the 6-4 6-3 but hey as you go max weight Wingspan on this build, you will have the ability to get pro and small contact dunks on this build if you keep it under 6'5. So you have to be 6'4, 6'3, anything like that. You can't be 6'5 and get small contact dunks, but you will still get the pro contact dunks if you're 6'5. But as of the takeovers, hey, we got Slash and Shocker to play, Mega. As I told y'all, I'm rocking with the Slash and Take. I'm, I'm rocking with the Slash and Take, especially on this two-way tempo pusher variation of this build. But if you guys had to choose out of all the two-way tempo pushers from the pie charts, which one would you end up choosing? Let me know down below. But if you're interested in more catfish builds, you might want to go check out my catfish two-way playmaker build with the 84 three-pointer and get contact dunks and Slash and Takeover.